children today we will continue with the chapter advanced features of word processor 1 in this we are going to cover the following topics today using column button inserting column break inserting page break inserting line break and tab stops when you type in word document by default the text is displayed in a single column style or in a paragraph style to format the document in newspaper style, that is the column style, you have to click on the layout tab, the column button and you can select as many columns you can you want in the document. Again, if you want three columns, you can click on the three column button. Click on the layout tab you can click on the columns button from here again you can click on the one column button then again you can see that we have one column if you want to select certain portion of the text and you want to make it two columns that is also possible if you go to the more column option you will be able to see the line between option so you can click on that and click ok you can see the line in between the columns children whenever you children whenever you click and press the tab key your cursor moves around 0 0.5 inches that means five spaces if you press a space bar key only one space you can move but to move five spaces you have to press the tab key now this space of tab key can be increased by clicking on the layout tab paragraph group and in this you will be able to see the paragraph settings and when you will click on the tab option you will be able to see this box here you can see the default tab stop is at 1.27 centimeter suppose uh, I increase the tab stop to 3 inches then I click on the set option the so 3 inches is around 7.62 centimeter and I have to press this 7.62 centimeter in the default tab also okay now if I say set and then I said okay now if wherever my cursor is and I press the tab key you will see that my uh, this uh, tab is moving 7.62 centimeter okay so we can increase and decrease the space how much our tab moves this depends upon us. whenever we are clicking when we, we whenever we are pressing on the tab key we can increase you can put a line break anywhere in word in word place the cursor at the position where you want to add the line break and press the enter key Click on the insert tab, click page break. When you, where you will insert a page break, the new page will be inserted from the place where your cursor is. Now I am going to select the text, convert it into column. So I will click on the layout tab, then I will click on two columns. You can see the two columns now. To insert the column break wherever I will put my cursor and then if I go to the breaks 
and I click on the column. So from wherever my cursor is, from there the sentence goes to the next column. So children, today you have to continue the chapter advanced features of our processor part 1 and you have to complete this following question answers in the notebook. Thank you for watching the video.